Right then, a uh, quick, a quick, uh, I can't call it instant reaction because Ultra Raw Sports does that, so I'm just going to say, we'll have a chat about the weekend's events. The, the, the main weekend's events were the Frank Warren show on Saturday, and uh, I actually went out on Friday with Dennis to Leeds, we went to Hilton Hotel, we went out with some boxing people Friday night, but I actually bumped into a few people in a in the hotel, and a, I couldn't believe the amount of people were telling me Josh Warrington were going to win. But did he win in style, or were it ugly? I thought it were ugly. The referee lost control of the fight in the first few rounds. He had cuts all over his eyes from butts, and he never recovered from that. Lee Selby, so. Boxing's an hard sport, isn't it? Lee Selby was the longest reigning British champion at the time. Well, he ain't now, is he? So, the fight, in my opinion, was spoilt by the referee. That's my opinion, so don't be sending me abuse like you keep doing. Uh, that's just my opinion. Don't have to take it to heart. But I just think it were shocking. Shocking. And uh, the card was... God, ultimately... Baba, Baba as in cow shit, the card was shit, Frank Warren if you've got a problem give me a ring, you've got my number, house number Frank, you've rung me before, or DM me if you've got a problem with my opinion, the show were garbage, the Warrington fight against Selby saved it, but that was only a six and a half out of ten wasn't it, it was only a great night for all them Leeds fans that are there that, that caused all that trouble at the weigh-in, because if they took that fight off Josh Warrington with a result, them Leeds United fans would have smashed that place up, wouldn't they? Shout out to Carlin Cider with Black Current. If you want to sponsor me, send me two crates. I was sat in my childhood friend's showroom. Ledger frames of Cunningsburg, Doncaster. What a lot of people don't know is that 25 years ago, I was the original owner. He sat in that office laughing. But he's obviously took it to another level, hasn't he? Showroom here, looks lovely. Nice windows, doors. You've done great for yourself, Jason, really good. Does a professional job. So if you want your windows and doors done in conservatories, come to Ledger Frames of Cunningsburg, Doncaster, and the chaps will look after you. Well, the free plug's over. The overall show, and the Frank Warren show, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. As regards having the Kaiser Chiefs on, what we're all that about at the middle of a boxing match? You're there to watch boxing, it's not an event, it's boxing. And they only put them on 20 seconds on TV, what we're all that about? It was just microphones weren't even working ringside, it was garbage, utter garbage. Now, I don't like to say this, but Eddie Earn shows the, the production's a lot better on them. But, and the fights were shocking, weren't they? Worked hard for that today. Now, getting on to the Tyson Fury opponent. Ranked 66 in world from Albania. Sefer Serifi. Has anybody heard of him? Because I'd like to think that I've been working in boxing now for 38 months and I've never even heard of him. Some Albanian, he, would, he started out as a coach driver, like his dad. He's ended up a boxer and he does part time coach driving. So basically, he's a bus driver from Albania. What on earth is he doing in the ring with the Neil Heavyweight Champion of the World? Is that why they've left it this late to announce the opponent? Because he's only got a couple of weeks till fight week. I, I, how can anybody take him serious, Tyson, if this is uh, uh, who he's fighting? And, uh, unless, and, I, and I know Tyson, right? I've actually. I haven't spoke to him for a long time, well, about a year, but come on, this is terrible. I don't, I don't think Tyson would want this guy, surely to God, it's got to be Frank Warren's doing. But Tyson's allowed it, hasn't he? He's obviously got people around him that have said, yes, we'll go for this. They've all sat around a desk, haven't they? And they've read all the names out, they've gone, Joe Joy's too dangerous, Yui is his cousin. Chisora is beaten twice. Vladimir Klitschko retired. Joshua, they want to fight him down the line. Parker, that's his mate. So they've gone through them all. 
Who can they get? Well, w w why not go get somebody who's top 25 and be took seriously? When Muhammad Ali had a, had a break, he came back and fought Jerry Quarry, who were ranked number four. So, why go for a guy ranked number 66 in world? It's shocking. It's not only that, the guy's a cruiserweight. And Tyson's a bit bigger than an heavyweight, and he's 19 stone. The guy's 14 stone four cruiserweight coming up. His body's only built for 14 stone four. Shocking. Shocking opponent. Embarrassing. Them tickets that I've seen today for sale are 400 odd quid. I'm just gutted for Tyson and his team and his dad. I mean, they should be embarrassed. Total, utterly shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking. If Eddie Earn had put that fight out for Tyson Fury, he would have got lynched. It's just bad, isn't it? There's bad fights, bad fights, bum fights, journeyman fights, and Sarah Serafia. Can't even say his name right. It's just shocking, and boxing needs to have a look at itself. It needs governing, the sport needs governing, fighters need pensions, and nobody's listening. I put a proposal to the British Boxing Board of Control. Robert Smith, you piece of shit, you haven't even wrote back to me. You should be embarrassed. Shocking man. They're not bothered. All it is about is money. Fighters are pieces of meat. They're not bothered. Not, nobody's bothered about anybody. The only people I see that are bothered about are people are fighters, dads who train the kids. They're bothered about them. But people are being overprotected because they want to get to the pot of gold. Well, what about all the money that they're taking off at fans? If Tyson's fight sells out, and I don't think it will, but let's say it does. What are they getting on the night? What are they getting on that night? What? Terry Flannan against that, oh is it, Ucker? What is that? What is that? Is that it? The big night? Return of the Mac? Return of the MacDonald? It's a shocker. It's just embarrassing. Proper, proper, proper embarrassing. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on it. The weekend is over. And my views on that this weekend are terrible. The only good thing about it is that Tony Stevenson fought Bad Hill Jack in America. And that were a great fight, wasn't it? That were a great fight. And Tony Bellew, have you noticed his tweets? He'll be calling us that Tony Stevenson out next, won't he? 41 year old, shot to bits. Dragging him up to one ninety-five pound, dragging him up twenty pound, and he's forty odd year old. He's, he's four year older than David A. You couldn't make it up, could you? Tony, fight somebody. Billy Joe Saunders, fight somebody. Who are you fighting? Marty Murray next. You call out Golovkin, you get Marty Murray. Tyson Fury, fight somebody. But we can give you half a pass on this one. But shocking, mate. Shocking weekend and embarrassing. Keep on trucking. I'm now going to give you a quick little tour of my mate's showroom. Let you have a little look. He's offered to sponsor me. That's the least he can do for me, isn't it? Here we go. Not bad. Jason? Get me on here. Do you want to go on? You want to be famous? Right? I don't want to be a vest on. Is this where all, is that where all your conservative section is? No, I'm still outside that door Russ. Yeah? Still outside that this door here? Still the main door. Oh the main door, yeah. Still yeah. One, Which one? Where you are. Oh that one there? No, no, through there. Open that door. No, here Russ. Oh show me. Where? Oh yeah, is that how you get in? Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't have this years ago when you first started, did no, you? Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, oh this, oh this is it. This is uh, not the map for it, so this is for an Edlington ad. This is on the main plot of Cunningsborough. I think that's uh, Kenny's fish restaurant where I took Terry Chapman Dharma for something to eat overnight. 
That's not bad, dude. That wood grain one, is it, Gray? I like that, isn't it? Dayoski! Is that a. Who is it, Skip? Is that who is it? Phil's. Well, right, these conservatives, yeah, aren't they? I'll get front at shop on as well for you. So when people come down main road, they can see where it is, can't they? Don't get me on here, Rob. I won't get you on there, mate. Covered with all them uh, uh, artistic drawings on your body. <laughs> All these weddings off him now to sponsor me. It's a big old place, isn't it? Big old place. Fancy going up to Kenny's for fish and chips, to be honest. I smell it from here. Love fish and chips, mate. No, I call me Corky. I think it's biggest showroom in the area. When I had this business, I. Uh, I just had a, <laughs> I had it paid for about three weeks then I got loads of prison. So he's done really well for his son. Done really well for his son. I think he's merked a bit better, 170 mile an hour chipped up merc. Kids' mums are off for a bit crap, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's that. Uh, some good stuff in here. Got all these samples. When I used to sell windows, I used to just have one sample, and it'd be this sample here, and this is an internal internal beaded, and it'd probably be a pantry window. So what you do, you go to your house with your pantry window, show them your magazines, designs, and you get them to sign that dotted line. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, but Jason's took it to another level. Really, really good composite door there. Very nice. Good. Very good. Very good. Right then. I'm uh, going to get off. It's been great to give my opinion on boxing last few weeks. I've really enjoyed it. Well, now I'm going to sink a few with my mucca on this lovely hot Monday, cool, breezy, hot evening. <laughs>